Rhonda here with Foods 101. Today I'm going to show you how to make these spinach cheese swirls. I got the recipe off of the back of this Pepperidge Farm puff pastry sheets. The ingredients you're going to need is a 10 ounce package of frozen chopped spinach thawed and drained and you're going to use your hands and squeeze as much water out of your spinach as possible. One half cup of shredded Monterey Jack cheese, one egg, one tablespoon of water, one green onion. Some of you in the world well know these as spring onions and we need them just horizontally sliced into thin pieces, one eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder, and one fourth of a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. And of course, you have the star of your show, your puff pastries. And we're gonna use one of our ready to bake pastry sheets. Let me show you how we're gonna get this together. I've just been unrolling one sheet of my puff pastry and it has these little papers in between so your dough's not gonna stick together. I put this on a floured surface. I'm gonna add a little bit more flour here to the top, spread it out. With a rolling pin, we're gonna give it a lovely little rolling and that'll be perfect and just get off your excess flour. Don't worry about the ends because they're gonna be rolled up. See, I've got flour down here and it won't be sticking. If it does, add a little bit more flour. Let your pastry dough thaw out according to the back of the package here. And right here is your spinach cheese swirls. Oh my gosh, they're delicious. In a medium bowl, we're gonna add our Monterey Jack cheese, along with the Parmesan cheese, the green onions that we've sliced, and that lovely garlic powder. And we're just gonna gently swirl this around until it's well incorporated and that looks fantastic and we're going to set this off to the side in a smaller bowl i'm adding my egg with that tablespoon of water and we're going to whisk this together this really acts like the glue to hold everything together brush the pastry and just give it a light coating we've got the egg water mixture brushed from corner to corner of our puff pastry here we're going to add the cheese mixture. Just add it evenly here on the top so you kind of get the picture. Okay, and if you have more cheese than in one area, you can just take your hands and spread it out like this. Start adding the spinach. And again, you want really an even layer of spinach on top of your cheese mixture. Start from the short end and we're going to begin rolling up the pastry. Also, at this point, you want your oven preheated on 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you have excess flour, I just like to brush it off. It's easy to do. And these make 20. And I'm gonna show you how to cut them here in just a second. We've got it all rolled up and that looks fantastic. Around here where the seam is, we're going to pinch it together because we don't want this seam coming apart as our pinwheels are baking or the swirls are gonna bake. And that egg and water mixture also will hold it together. With a knife, since we're gonna get 20 one half slices, I'm gonna cut it in half and that's going to ensure a um, Tin. I got a knife with the little teeth on it. That's a serrated knife. I'm going to cut these in half again. Then I know I'm going to have to cut five one half inch rounds here. So we can go one, two, three, four, and five. So one, two, three, four, five. And you're just going to cut them down. You want a large cookie sheet and I've lined mine with parchment paper. If you don't have it lined with parchment paper, make sure you oil it very well. You can use a spray oil or you can use shortening. Once they're here on your cookie sheet, we're going to go back with that egg water wash and we're just going to gently coat the top of each. It'll give it a beautiful golden shine while they're baking. These are off to a 400 degree preheated oven for the next 15 minutes. Baked spinach cheese swirls completed and listen to them sizzle. Oh my goodness. And if you could smell how fabulous they are, I'm going to let these cool down for about five minutes. 
before I tell you what they taste like. Look how lovely our spinach cheese swirls turned out. Absolutely fantastic. They got really crispy and golden on the bottom. Let me bite into it and I'll tell you what it's like. Mmm, lovely, warm. Mmm, that pastry is light, fluffy. The Monterey Jack cheese and that Parmesan cheese mm, and that tad bit of garlic powder, y'all, just makes these a win-win appetizers. Perfect for parties, get-togethers, delicious. Mmm, mmm, you're gonna love them. Thanks a million for watching, you all. I'm Deronda with Foods 101, and I'll catch you next time.